Next morning, Emily wakes up, grabs the phone with a hope. If Dave texted something, sees nothing, gets disappointed, scrolls some posts on Instagram, and finally gets out of bed. Gets in bathroom, brushes her teeth, washes her face, looks at herself on mirror, and thinks to herself, no, Emily, don't do it to yourself. Then takes a deep breath and looks to cosmetics pack, does makeup, and says in front of the mirror, shit. Jamie and school bus notice that and asks with excited tone, wow, so why is this? Emily asks, what? Jamie asks again, ah, Moan, you know that I mean why you decided to be so hot today? Emily smiles a bit and says, nothing, just in mood today. Jamie smiles and says with calm voice, okay, girl, we will see it eventually. Emily laughs. At school during the class, Emily remembers about if Dave plays piano again, but also remembers about mom's warning and rethinks about getting out. Waits till break bell. Break bell rings. Everybody are getting out. Jamie and Emily are getting next to window and Jamie asks, so hottie, would you let me know the reason of this mood? Emily smiles. I told you, such a regular day, but I'm keeping it up, getting used to here. At that moment, Dave shows up and says, Hey girls, what's up? Emily smiles and says, Hey Dave, nothing special, stable. How about you? Jamie with curious voice asks Dave, So Dave, would you like to let me know, would you do this very often now? Cause it's so strange. Dave says, Oh, stop it. I wanted to ask Emily if she still wants to go out after school to hear the answer of her question. So if you wanna, you can go with us too, Jamie. Jamie laughs and says, I better let you be alone, guys, and I have things to do after school. But can I ask what was Emily's question? At that point, Emily says with worried voice, It's private. Davy smiles. Actually, you know the answer, Jamie. I'll let you know soon, maybe. Emily thinks that this is the thing that would make her shy, but she will figure out that she don't have to. Jamie smiles again. Okay, okay, guys, have fun on your first date. Emily yells, it's not a date. Jamie says, whatever you say, girl, and gets in class. And after that, Dave asks Emily, so do we go out today? Emily with shy feeling. So yay, sure. I'll let my mom know about it and I'm all yours till 7 p.m. Davy thinks a bit, smiles. Actually, you asked me the question, so I'm yours. Emily says, oh, yay, sorry, you are right. Break bell rings and Davy runs by saying, see you. Emily looks behind him and gets in the class. When she got in, Jamie smiles and asks her, so are you guys on the way to be a couple? Emily says with careless voice, no, we are on the way to be friends. Jamie smiles and accepts. Okay, girl. Break bell rings and it's end of the school. Emily gets so excited so her hands are shaking but tries to hide that. They are getting out, staying together with Jamie on stairs outside of school. And Jamie leaves by saying, Okay, girl, I gotta go. Emily calls to her mother to let her know. Hey, mom, can I go out with friends? Rose says, Hey, sweetie. Sure, have fun, but don't be late, Emily says. Yay, mom, it's not for a long, love you. At that point, she sees Dave's car, looks around in hope to see Dave, but can't see him around. Takes the phone and calls him, and hears his phone ringing right behind herself, startles and turns around, sees Davey smiling. Oh, I was looking for you. Davey says, well, here I am, so let's go. Emily asks, so where do we go? Davy says, wherever you want to. Emily says right in front of Carr's door, but how might I know any place here? Davy says, so let me know what kind of place you want. Emily smiles. They got in car and drive away. When they drive away, that blonde girl sees them with mad face. In the car, Dave asks again, well, girl, what kind of place you wanna have coffee at? Emily smiles. I didn't tell you that I want to have coffee. Dave gets a bit confused and asks again. So tell me what you want. Emily laughs and says, Aha, uh -huh, just kidding. Coffee is nice, but I prefer a place that isn't much crowded if you know a place. 
Dave says with a confident smile, Glad to hear that. I have a place exactly for you, but we gotta change the vehicle. Emily gets a bit scared and asks with a light, worried smile, Um, I'm afraid to ask, but why the hell we gotta change the vehicle? To where the hell we go? Dave laughs. I'm not sure that I can drive the car on ski slope. Emily asks again, So we are going to ski resort or something? Dave says, Yep, maybe you'll say now that there's not snow yet. Well, it's the thing. There are not anybody yet at this time of the year. Emily got a bit worried if they'll be all alone and asked. So what kind of vehicle I should expect next? Dave says, Cable cars, if those are running. Emily asks, What if those are not? Dave smiles again. Something wild. After that, Emily gets more scared and thinks to herself, Oh God, please let those cable cars run. Please. They arrive to a resort. Dave looks to cable car station and says, Yeah, not running yet. Well, we will have some fun. Anne drives further. Emily is totally scared now and asks, So do we go for that next wild vehicle? Dave smiles and says, Don't worry, we are going to have fun on it. But that's in garage of our place. They arrive to a hotel. Dave drives straight through the grass to backyard, parks in front of a garage door and says, wait a bit, gets out, runs into garage. At that moment, Emily thinks to herself, shit, to what I involved. Then garage door opens and Dave drives out an ATV next to his car. Emily's eyes are poping up. Dave gets down from ATV, takes a helmet, opens Emily's door. Emily freaks out, gets out of car and says, Oh my God, Dave, are you serious? Davy smiles, gives her the helmet and says, no worries, this thing is fun AF, but you gotta put this on, points to helmet. Emily puts the helmet on and asks Dave while Dave ties her helmet belt. So why don't you take on your helmet? Davy smiles. I like how wind fondles my face. Emily says, so what if I like that too? Davy declines. No way, girl, you are under my responsibility, so fastens her belt, slaps her helmet when she smiles, jumps to ATV and says, hey girl, come on, jump up, what are you waiting for? Emily jumps on the back of Dave. Dave touches accelerator a little bit. Emily almost fells, looks for something to hold but can't find. Davy smiles and says, hey girl, you better hold me. Emily carefully hugs him behind and Davy says, I expected that you would hold my shoulders, but that's better. Emily didn't hear that because of the engine sound. Dave drives up to mountain through a trail under the pines. Emily started to feel sometimes cold and sometimes pretty warm wind, and suddenly feels that strong pine scent, closes her eyes and takes a deep breath at one section of the road, Dave says loudly. Look to the right side. Emily turns her head to the right side and sees the panoramic view of the city at that section of the trail. She was feeling worried, but also felt a weird pleasure and that scared her. Suddenly, she looked to the side mirror and saw Dave's face. She saw him for the first time when he smiled this much. Jeez, he had a lot of fun up there while riding that shit. After a while, they arrived to Upper Cable Car Station and Emily noticed that those are working and got a little bit confused. Up there after Cable Car Station, they stopped next to a wood building, what looked more like a bar rather than a cafe. Dave shut down the engine and said, Okay, welcome. Emily gets down and says with confused voice, How the hell cable cars started to run? Davy smiles and says, Magically. So do you like the place? Emily says, Yay, but I wasn't meaning the place where we can be alone by saying that I prefer not crowded place. Davy smiles again and says, Who said that we will be alone? Let's get in. Emily says when they get upstairs. You did that intentionally with cable car situation, right? Dave smiles and says, maybe. They got in and Emily got impressed with atmosphere. As Dave said, place wasn't empty, but also wasn't much crowded. As they got in, Busser said to Dave, hey buddy, what is up? Dave says, as you can see, how about you? Busser asks them, fine as hell. Well, are you guys hungry? Dave says, nah, actually, can you? 
Oh, sorry, Emily. Are you hungry? Emily smiles and says, No, but something warm would be nice, I think. Dave says, Hey, Jake, can you bring us two hot chocolates with a lot of whipped cream and marshmallows on it? Emily gets surprised because Dave ordered exactly what she would like to order. At that point, Davy asks Emily, Ah, oh, sorry. If you would order something else, let me know. Emily says, Nah, hot chocolate is nice. They got to a table next to window that has panoramic city and snowy Rocky Mountains view. And Dave asks her, Well, girl, still interested why I'm isolating myself from crowd? Emily says, Yeah, if it's not that private. Dave says, If that was private, I wouldn't be here with you. Emily smiles and says, Okay, boy. So let me see your mystery. Dave smiles. Actually, there's nothing mysterious with me. Everybody knows what they're supposed to know. But also everybody knows that they shouldn't talk about me or have deal with me. If you ask someone about me, you could know too, maybe. But I know pretty well why you had not done that. Emily asks, So why I didn't? Dave says with serious voice, Because you also don't like when people talk about you and how people try to know things about your private life. Emily's light smile disappears says nothing. And Dave says confidently, See, don't forget, silence is loudest. Yes, ever. Emily looks to him with no facial impressions. Dave smiles and adds, But also, as you said back in days, I love to help people by some way. Emily smiles and says, Yay, I got it. So if you don't like when people talk about you, why you decided to give me facts about you, you don't know me. What if I'll talk about you too to others like anybody else? Davy smiles and says, I said, I like to help people by some way. Emily got confused. So what is the connection between that and this? You helped me with study, so is there any more necessary? Davy smiles and says, First, you called me antisocial, but I bet Jamie talked to you first. And if you didn't need a help in education, you would never talk to me because I felt that you felt really uncomfortable when you asked for help from me, and you are here for almost two weeks now. And except Jamie and me, to who you talked more? Emily says nothing. Davy smiles and says, So who is the weirdest antisocial now? Emily gets confused and says, Are you guys with Jamie close friends? Davy laughs, says, We grew up together. She told me that new girl is feeling messed up, she said that you are also like music and adrenaline stuff. So I thought that hanging out with me would help you to feel better. So it's actually why I accepted to answer your question. Emily gets mad. How dare you? I don't need anybody's mercy or help, okay? We better go. Davy also with serious voice interrupts her. What is wrong with you? I told you what is wrong with me, now it's your turn. If you don't, it would be unfair. Emily's madness transforms to sadness. She would almost cry. Dave notices that, and with softer voice. Come on, girl, talk to me. Let those troubles run out, don't keep it inside. That would hurt you more with any more time you keep it in you. Let it out. At that moment, she finally couldn't hold her tears, so puts her head down and starts to cry. Dave sits next to her, grabs her from her shoulder, puts her head to his shoulder, Emily looks at him imperceptibly, wants to resist him but can't. Dave says again, Let it out, girl. Let it out. After a minute, she tries to stop crying and puts her head back up from Dave's shoulder and says to Dave with a tiny smile, Thanks for your shoulder support, so you better get back to your place now. Davy smiles and gets back to in front of her and says, You are welcome, girl. Feel better now? Emily vipes her tears, takes a deep breath, Back in Tampa, when I was a kid, we had an awesome life. Or I thought that it was. Because as I grew up, I started to notice my parents' fights. The fact is that my mom was a real estate agent, but I never knew what was my father's occupation. But once my mom had to say to me that my father is working for a, one of the biggest drug cartel's successor, my mom wanted to divorce. So after that decision, my dad told us that he would drop all that shit and everything would be okay. And he really figured it out. He got a job. Fights between mom and dad has been over. Everything seemed awesome again. Until a day when mom got a phone call. 
She didn't tell me what is going on, but I got that dad messed up all again. We left the house that night. Mom didn't even cried, but she had so much phone calls in those three days. I don't know how, but by some connections, she divorced and changed our last names in fucking three days. So we had to leave my father there and moved here to start a new safe life. Don't tell about it to Jamie. I told her that my father is dead, so I think he will be soon. Dave says with low voice, so sorry about that. Emily says, Ah, uh, no worries. We have nothing to do rather than just living our lives by the way how it goes. Dave says, I don't really want to agree with that, but we have nothing to do. At that moment, Emily turns her head to Sun and sees how Sun sets down behind the rocky peaks and says, Ah, uh, I really can used to here. I'm confessing that I'm glad to live here now. Now I got why tourists are coming here. Dave says, Yay, I love this place too. Emily vipes her last tears and asks him, So Dave, why you don't want to agree with me? Dave thinks a little bit, takes a deep breath, stands up, gets next to window and says, So, sunset is precious, but also that means it's getting late, so we gotta go. And answer for your last question will be at next episode, I guess. So don't think that I don't want to answer. Emily accepts. Yay, okay? Whatever. Down there, near Dave's car, Emily says, Hey Dave, thanks for everything, but I better go home by Uber. Dave says, Why you don't want your mom to know that you were with me? Emily says, Ah, uh, no, it's not about that. You already did a lot for me, so I better go by myself. Dave smiles, takes her helmet off, and says shortly, Emily, get in the car and say no more. And okay, I will close my exhaust valves. Emily smiles, opens the door, gets in by saying, okay. They arrive to Emily's house. Emily sees her mom's car and says, ow, ow, a grand questioning is waiting for me. Dave asks, why is that? Emily says, look to our window. Dave sees Emily's mom behind the curtain, how she looks to them and tries to do that imperceptibly. He smiles and says, she is curious about you. I think she is an awesome mother. Emily accepts and asks, Yay, she is. So one last question. How are you sure that I'm not like others and also might talk about you with others? Maybe you know me now a little bit, but how were you sure before? Davy says, I wasn't sure. That was a gamble. And maybe you think that I'm sure now, but nah. Still not, but I hope. Emily smiles. Okay. Thanks for hot chocolate. See you. Dave says, my pleasure. Dave said to Emily that he isn't sure, but he was. Actually, Davy's reason was totally different. They had a couple things in common, and he thought that there were so much more. Emily gets upstairs in front of door, turns around, smiles a bit to Dave, waves to him, turns back and gets in. Dave waits till she gets in and then drives away. Emily yells, Hey, Mom, I'm home, Rose says. Hey, honey, how was your day? Emily says, exhausting. Rose says, if you enjoyed it, doesn't matter. Emily got surprised why Mom had not asked about Dave and what they have done today in details. So she asks her, so that's all? Don't you want to ask me more? Rose asks, what do you expect from me to ask you? Emily says, so I don't know. You have seen us outside with Dave, so don't you want to ask why we were together and what have we done today? Rose says, Sweetie, you are a big girl now. You better know what you should let me know or what I should not. If you want to tell me I'm here, if you don't want to, so I respect. Emily gets more surprised and says, Well, okay. I'm getting up to take my clothes of. Rose says, Okay, but hurry up. I've done pasta and fried chicken. Don't let it chill out. Emily runs upstairs and says, I'm running. Rose laughs and yells, Hey, no running. Be careful, 